Hey, welcome to Boom Mountain Sports. This is 2023-2024 gear review. Um, and we have some of our favorite skis leaning up against this table. Um, I'm Riley. I'm Logan. And this is gonna be awesome. I, I yeah, we, we absolutely love Stokely. Yes. It is definitely my favorite ski to talk about, mainly because it's also my favorite ski to ski. Um, and we both kind of ski these on a regular daily, daily, they're daily drivers, pretty much. Um, and this year, um, well, last year we came out, they have brand new AX and AR. Yeah, the Monteros. The Montero series. This is all Montero. And now. this is now extended to the new AS and the but a ladies AW. Hot and damn. So we're pretty excited to dive into kind of the fun, fun stuff about what's going on with these, um, along with how killer the graphics are. Um, Riley, go ahead and talk about a little bit of like the, the construction and what's yeah. going on within. Totally. The skis. Um, so the Montero series is consistent construction throughout the series. Uh, the woods that they're using is a Polonia, Balsa, and Fuma. So Polonia being that lightweight construction, Balsa being a, another, lightweight, another construction. lightweight construction, and Fuma being like a little bit denser. Um, so three woods utilized, uh, which is wild. And the main thing about the Montero series, it is it, two sheets of metal, right? Um, tons of shape, big old shovels, narrower waist, and super fat tails, which we will get deeper into. Um, and you're Biggest difference between all of these is gonna be your dimensions. Um, they change millimeters at a time, and it- Changes the entire Changes ski. everything, and it's like, I don't know how they do it. It's some kind of black magic. Yeah, it is some sort of black magic. It's incredible. Yep. Um, but let's chat a little bit about the AR and AX. This has been around for a little bit, so some clarity in terms of the type of skiing that this loves to do and the type of skiing that this loves to do. Yeah. And then we'll dive into where this kind of comes into play. Yeah, definitely. Okay, um, AX, AR. AX, now 80 millimeters underfoot, and AR, 84 millimeters underfoot. If you guys remember the old laser series, the AX was 78 underfoot, and the AR stayed consistent in that dimension at 84, they just changed a couple millimeters. <laughs> in, the in your tail. Yep, so we'll start with the AX. Um, the Montero series, I just explained a little bit, two sheets of metal, those three woods. Um, they have this adaptive edge control, which elongates the contact point as long as you're like rolling up on edge in the shovel and in the tail, which is, it adds stability at speed, but it gives it maneuverability and more playfulness um, at slower speeds. And that's across the board. Um, so, and what that allows for too is just better edging the farther the uh, farther angled you are on the ski itself. You feel more secure as you're through that turn. And then they also have what's called, um, I think it's, they now call it their flex. It used to be called turtle shell, right? So there's a cut in the shovel and in the tail on all of these. And if you think about a hinginess like rolling up on edge, it locks against itself. It's really stable. When you transition out, it absorbs that vibration. So um, really cool technology. Um, sorry, that was just about the series. Now we'll get into the AX. Um, this thing is a powerhouse. Mm -hmm. um, it used to be definitely they're more like more playful and maneuverable ski and they kind of flopped it with the a the old ar and the ax is now it likes speed and it feels gse and the skis are actually going to say the opposite they're going to say that this radius is shorter than this radius than and we skied it extensively like and we definitely did not feel that this was the easier turning ski. This wanted more speed. This wanted longer radius turns, a lot more than the AR. We found the AR to be definitely more round, more predictable, and like you could just kind of maneuver it a little bit better with better power. Especially you know? at slower speeds. I mean, yes. like you kind of had to get this thing up and going to energize it and or pick up the ski and, and work it. Whereas this was just, so round, so quick, really fun, varied radius um, with the capability of elongating, but also the playfulness of like keeping it a little bit shorter. Um, so I would say that as if you're looking for something that's just gonna charge, 
and carve. Carve, and I actually talked to a guy who skied this thing in some chunder, and I mean, he's he has an AR and got on the AX, and he's like, the AX is just long radius. Yep. You know, which is exactly kind of what we thought, but he loved the stableness, and he loved actually busting through crud. So. More Which, specific. <laughs> more specific skiing, yeah. more specific to kind of your speed, your longer radius turns on, you know, probably not as much variable conditions of snow, right? And that's going to be kind of your AX. Your AR is going to open up the mountain a little bit more and be a little bit more, more round. It's going to absorb, like, mixed condition of snow a little bit better. I mean, I've had numerous days with, you know, you, me, and Andrew on Chunder days that we're just going through, you know, six inches of just six to ten inches of just I mean, plowing through carving and all the way around being 84 underfoot it's pretty it wild skis, it skis way bigger than 84. yeah <laughs> and a like... lot of that is because of this shovel i mean it's yeah. a big old shovel i think between all of us the consensus here at boone is the ar is is pretty versatile um i would say it's more versatile than the ax and um then it's like one of, it's probably my favorite ski on the wall. Um, so that just being said, let's just kind of roll into the AW, right? Because the AW is going to be, this is what, this is the magic also that what Stokely does with skis is that they build a ski for a particular style of skiing and a particular style of skier. Um, and so when we say, that they made the women's version of these skis. They developed the ski for the women. It is not the same by any means of these two skis. It's another for a completely different dimension. Construction in terms of wood is gonna be similar, um, but not the radius, right? No. Um, so this is gonna be an 80 at the waist, um, and you're gonna be looking at 106 in the tip, 80 at the waist, and 122 at the tail, which gives you a 16 meter radius in a 166. <sighs> <laughs> Which is awesome. Like, I love that radius. It well, just allows it to, you to do any sort of turn you maybe want. Maybe we should talk about you know? radius real fast. Um, we speak a lot about radius with pretty much all of our skis, especially when we're t kind of in this world. Um, you can think of radius as your turn shape, right? And that's dictated by the dimension differences from the shovel to the waist to the tail. That's called side cut. And I would say a short radius is going to range anywhere from like, nine to 12 meters. Every nine to 12 meters, that ski naturally wants to transition into the next turn. Medium is gonna be like 13 to 17, 16, 17, right? And then longer is really gonna be like 17, 18 to like 22 plus. Mm -hmm. um, and that is incredibly important when you're looking at skis to check out the radius. Like if you love your current skis and you're in the market, you know, check out the radius on your current ski um, while you go shopping. Then you have a, a pretty good idea. And there's a cheat sheet on pretty much every ski. Um, you'll see a little R with the radius number. It's all metric and measured in meters. So 16 meters, I mean, that is just such a versatile medium radius. It can totally shorten up if you need it to. You can elongate and it you if can you want to. You can elongate it if you need to, but it is a really fun radius it's so awesome yeah and i think that i think you're hitting the nail on the head with the versatility of that aspect yep. and and so and especially with like if you do have a pair of skis that you love definitely check out what that is because that will help you narrow down what you're seeing on the wall when there's so many different options um and then think about the type of skiing that you like doing you know a little bit higher speeds or something you want a little bit shorter speeds more control that's all going to dictate and come from your radius so it's a really important aspect especially when it comes down to your um, more front side all mountain skis, you know, when you're below sub 90 at your waist. Um, but anyways, back to the AW, good little tangent though. Love yep. it. Um, we're really excited for this, for the ladies coming up for this season, um, to be able to have such a good, versatile, powerful ski that is, is, can, is really approachable as well. You know, um, where we are talking about the little slits that are in, in the metal on the ski itself on the tip and the tail, that allows it to be a little bit more forgiving. You know, so you can enter into turns nicely, but it's not going to jump you out of turns and you don't need to be super on top of it or feel uncomfortable. What I've always said about Stokely is that once you buy Stokely, you become a better skier just because of it. You will always find yourself in the right position. It's the magic, the black magic, whatever they utilize, but you're always going to be confident on this thing. Yep. 
I would say uh, the AW, the type of skier that you're, uh, that's gonna love this ski is gonna be anyone who's like an intermediate, advanced, and advanced plus. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not the most forgiving for like a beginner skier. No. There are a little bit more appropriate and more approachable skis for that type of skier, but it is the cream of the crop and it's something that you'll never outski. And um, not to mention, it comes with just one of the sexiest bindings. That combo is sexy. So they're utilizing Solomon's Strive 12. Uh, the Strive was a newer binding last year. Um, it's kind of uh, the hybrid of a Warden and an STH. Those two. Did their and we will go further into what the actual Strive is in another video. Yep. Because it's a pretty sweet binding. Um, we should talk about. Well, yeah, duh. That, uh, <laughs> uh, the one that kind of blew us all away, uh, the Montero AS. Yeah. It was freaking awesome. It's so it's ridiculous. Like, you know, if you know Stokely, then you kind of know they're like their SC series, their SX series, you know, where they were kind of missing the, the combination of their slalom into kind of all mountain version, right? Mm -hmm. It just kind of went to their slalom aspects of so super short radius, a little bit more demanding. Um, but then they came out with the AS, which it's, kind of blended. It's like a market this that and we've this been together. Like missing. <laughs> and now you can buy this and this, and like it's two completely different skis. We actually bought this ski in the 172. It's a 14 meter radius, <laughs> which is. And this is something we should also talk a little yeah. bit about. I mean, like yeah. when you're talking length. about size, like lengthwise, this is a confusing aspect for a lot of people. What length should I be? I mean, obviously, we talked about the radius. That has a lot to do with length, what you should be on. Construction of uh, construction is also going to be what's going to help dictate what size you're on. But we are all 184 skier. 180, 184 is kind of where we like to ride our skis. And we're skiing 172 and loving every moment about it. So you don't need to be afraid, you know, you can take your ego out of it. <laughs> you don't need to go super big anymore to be super cool. No. Talk about one of the most round carving skis I've skied in a long time. It enters into the turn really strong. That camber profile holds incredibly well. And this tail, like it is that 14. It is true to its radius. It, it just pops you right out and you'll feel the tail just like kick you and just send it right under your foot. And it is the roundest, most like Natural beautiful. Feeling. Think it, do it, automatic, Stokely. What the fuck? Love it, get it. You're gonna have a great time. Yep. Um, so. Another color combo. Yep. The type of skier who's gonna be skiing this is kind of, I would say more of that like X racer who's looking for like a, a fun kind of zippy ski that can explore because it still has a shovel. Um, but it is a quiver ski, you know? Um, this is something we're really excited to have in the shop. And again, you won't regret it. Um, yeah, X Racer for sure. Someone likes to put it on edge. Yep. You know? Yep. Or if you, yeah, yeah, that's, you, you need to learn to put it on edge 100%. <laughs> so, so more of an advanced skiing ski mm -hmm. um unless you want to like really learn how to turn if you're looking for a ski that's going to teach you how to a little more demanding something to get you on edge mm -hmm. definitely something to look at yep so the montero series this is the complete lineup um yep. buy them just get them really you won't regret it no they're fantastic if yep. you have any questions give us a call here at boone mountain sports you know check us out online boomountainsports.com um if you have any questions we're here for you yeah like, subscribe, comment. We're here for you. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.